before the treatment, Leo's sitting tolerance was for 10 seconds only. Um, now it has been improved uh, up till six hours a day, five days a week. Leo, before the treatment, uh, I mean, we've been told from the teachers, where, from the school where he used to go, uh, you know, we've been told simply, uh, he's autistic, what can you do? And now after, after receiving ABA um, session, after the sensor therapy, uh, we've been told that he's a quick learner. So we're coming from, uh, we came a long shot. Leo's motor mannerism have uh, reduced dramatically. He used to wriggle his fingers in front of his face all the time, constantly. Uh, now they are completely absent during ABA session. So he can sit for six hours as quiet as this without moving his head and uh, fingers. He couldn't hold a pen before in his hands. It was just dropping down every second. Now he writes perfectly. He holds the pen firmly in his hand and uh, he knows uh, how is his writing and um, it's so good. I couldn't uh, be more happy. He can, well, um, whereas before he couldn't recognize any, any part, uh, now he can point, uh, now he can point um, when asked he can point where his, where his nose is, where his arm is, where his uh, head is. If anywhere he has a pain, okay. so he will point uh, with a hand uh, direct to the pain um, part. part. Eye hand coordination has been increased, improved very, very much. Now he can easily catch and throw the ball without missing it. Also, his uh, body balance has improved uh, 100%. He couldn't uh, stand on one leg, whereas now he's ice skating on one leg. So it's really, really exciting to see all this. So when I take Leo to the playgrounds, uh, it is amazing to see um, he's, uh, he's not bothered about other, other children playing his, uh, like any other children would do screaming and do all sorts of things uh, he will uh, if his favorite um, game it will be busy uh, taken by somebody else he, he, he can easily wait for his turn for example to uh, to either to slide or to do other activities in there whereas before he couldn't he couldn't wait and he would start closing his ears or either run away from the place whereas now he understands turn taking his learning abilities uh, has increased. Now he's uh, explored to many different kinds of activities. Um, for example, numbers. He can um, understand the number sequence up to 50. He can uh, solve easily alphabet puzzle. And uh, he can show different um, approach to the different uh, objects, for example, if you uh, put lots of pictures in front of him and give other ones he can associate with a, a picture one which is on a table for example a banana will go with monkey milk will go with, with the baby a pillow will go with bed those kind of activities and he's doing very well um, some other things uh, he's doing with ease uh, for example he couldn't uh, put the car belt uh, he, yeah, yeah. on his own or close the car door whereas now he's doing everything on his own Finger pointing is also when uh, is going uh, much better. Uh, I would say actually perfect because uh, that's the way he communicates when when uh, when he needs something. Say, for instance, he can pinpoint exactly what he, with the object that he wants with the, with the finger, with the index finger, uh, or whichever other activity he has to do. For example, I don't know if he needs to go to a toilet. For example, he would he would point to the toilet, and uh, if he needs a drink, he will point to the glass. Um, whatever, whatever the need is, it will be specific and precise by pointing with the, with, the, with the index finger, say, I want this, I want that, I want the other. Now he can request uh, perfectly things. Uh, before he would take anything he wanted without any permission, and now he's coming and asking for them. Make sure that um, he's showing the right thing, and uh, without me um, smiling or telling him, yes, he will never take uh, the object or... Uh, food or drink or anything else. He's very independent now, dressing himself upper body and lower body. Well, before he he didn't understand. Uh, for example, he could wear upside down cloth and, uh, front and back. yeah, exactly front and back. Now he can dress himself, button himself, zip up, and uh, everything 
I'm not even entering to his room while, while I can make him to decide whichever cloth he wants to wear, he will pick up one for him and dress himself. Now, for example, whereas before I used to, used to oh, shall we say, almost prefer to be aloof in his own, in his own bed or aloof anyway, or away from, um, from us, now we're actually seeking our, our company um, by coming, hugging and uh, seeking for attention, um, even, even um, by, by looking straight to our, well, in my case, uh, in my eyes. He prefers to be with us all the time, even if he's playing his favorite games or watching his pictures or doing anything, just he, he will never stay on his own. Uh, whereas before, he would be mm. quiet in his room, wouldn't care if we were there, no, nice constantly with us. In fact, he, he, bring, he brings, uh, often brings uh, more than one object which he knows he will need, like, um, like his drink or his book, his pictures, whatever it is. It, it takes more than one object with him, making sure that he's placed in front of us because he, he requires our uh, attention and presence. Constant attention. Constantly. Sometimes even too much, I should say, and we had to push him away because that's not the right moment to be with us. Very, very few times. But we're waiting for this. Uh, and we are so happy days. to, and it's such a privilege for me to say that. Um, before we try to involve Leo in any kind of uh, in computer games or to increase his interest level, but there was zero, zero um, response. Yeah, response. Um, once I tried after the stem cell therapy, I tried to introduce one, one game on iPad and since then he just fall in love with uh, with that gadget and uh, um, he can write the words on it he can play different kind of puzzles and he's really really uh, willing to learn lots of things um, on computer on iPad Leo used to cover his ears um, constantly at all times whether it was loud sounds or children crying or loud music um, after the treatment, uh, this has been decreased. Um, only sometimes he will use uh, the habit, sometimes will remain there. But we notice that he's just not covering his ears, but he will put his both fingers on his cheeks. Uh, just because um, when he comes with something that he wants very much, he doesn't want to hear the sound no. Uh, just to protect him, uh, himself uh, from not hearing no. Uh, something important really happened. When I was uh, taking him for ice skating activities, he would prefer to, to, to skate on his own without anyone being there. Now he's um, willing to go and mix in a crowd and uh, go in between people and mm -hmm. skate. Um, he likes to slalom between them. Uh, yes, and mm -hmm. um, I, I noticed he's more enthusiastic when the crowd is there than when there isn't any, any crowd. Um, before he would run from one room to another room constantly, all day long, wandering, one minute here, one minute there. And if we would tell him, Leo, sit down, that would be only for one minute. Now, if I tell him, Leo, sit down, he can stay for one, two hours, as, as much as um, I requested. Uh, food habits has been changed completely. Um, before he was stuck on few things, such as pasta, pizza, fish fingers, uh, cucumber cheese. Now, everything I cook, he wills to try. He, he tries, and even if he doesn't like, I will say, Leo, you need to eat this. We have nothing else. He will sit quietly and finish his meal. One very important thing I would like to mention also. For example, um, if we had a drink or food and we left the table somewhere in a house, he will definitely go there, look at us, take the plate and bring it to the kitchen. So it's not, it's not some obsession that um, you will see. It's a good mannerism. Because he saw us after the drinking, eating, we need to go to the kitchen and put all these things. Uh, even sometimes he will open the dishwasher and try to place the plates in the right... Uh... In the right order. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. yes, <laughs> all these things. For example, um, when I give him his cloth, uh, t-shirts, underwear, uh, trousers, socks, I'm saying, Leo, you need to organize this. He will walk with all these things, open his wardrobe and put them one by one in the correct shelf. Um, when he was going to toilet, he was messing up around, so uh, it was very, very hard for me to explain that you need to hold in the right direction and so on. So after the stem cell treatment, he's so um, um, organized <laughs> when he's going to bathroom. Um, it never happened a day of mess, basically, and uh, he's... Uh, and it's such a relief for a mother going clean, and, you know, going after that. Yeah. After him and clean up all the time and uh, keep repeating the same things over and over and, uh, 
having the impression that when he's it, he's gonna get it. So this is this is simply what happened. Uh, and now he got it. I need to mention one thing. When I'm in a supermarket with him, I will say, Leo, we need to buy this, 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 this. So he knows exactly which aisle he's going. He's picking up the right thing, bringing, putting into the basket. Or even if I, if I forgot to take something, I will say, Leo, we forgot to get this. Can you go and bring it for me? No matter how big is the supermarket, he knows which aisle he will go there, pick it up and bring it to me. Always the correct item. He will never even let me open so the car say, boot. So you say then. He opens that. He, he, yeah, he will yeah, wait yeah. for he will, he will First of all, when we're coming out, he shows the car key. So I need to give him his and for while he's <laughs> feeling very, very good. We're coming out, he will give it to me. Um, after the shopping done, he will open the car boot. He will take the heavy trolley and try to help me put it in a boot. And then he won't give me a chance to close the boot. He will do it everything by himself. Um, sleeping way. habits also, I can say that he used to sleep three hours, restless. Uh, once he was awake, there was no way to put him back. Uh, during this six month period, he had complete eight, nine hours of sleep. Even if he wakes up at night, which he wants to go to the toilet, he will come immediately and sleep back. For example, if he sees daddy is watching TV, I'm talking to my mom um, or to my sister, he will come with his homework. He will sit next to me, he brings his pen, he's, um, he's doing his alphabets, his numbers, and then mm -hmm. he shows, ah, like look at if I'm doing correctly, if there are any mistakes. He's um, almost putting in front of my face, please come on, uh, um, I need your attention. Speech, um, no speech before, no vocalization before. Now everything is like in a request manner. If he needs to ask something, it will go, ah, ha, ha. Or if he says, I'm doing this, he'll say, ah, ha, ha. So we understand when he's asking, making a request, which would comes with a question mark, or the other way, he says, I'm doing this, may I? Uh, this is there all the time, all the time, constantly, as if he's communicating with us. Well, I'm a musician myself, and I try to involve him into the music. Um, literally, was not possible though he likes very much classical music. So when I was trying to make him sit quietly in front of the piano and say, Leo, you need to play something, he would go flapping oh, his yeah, hand yeah, around the sorry, notes. Sorry, yeah. After the stem cell treatment, I said, Leo, all you need to do, go one by one with your finger up. You know, you the need scale. to um, um, yeah, play the one, yeah. scale. And he did it in one go with right hand, mm -hmm. then with the left hand, and then he did it synchronized like uh, left and right. Left I was right, really, yeah. really shocked yeah, yeah, yeah. because so before all was all over like this. Yeah, yeah. And now he's, you know, or even I try to do the skill like this. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, fa, mi, re, do. And he goes after me, <laughs> after he looks, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, you know, he goes <laughs> like this, you know. I try to make him sing to make a sound, but he will go like, ah, but he's making an effort to say, to say or sing something, which is gonna come, definitely. In the the, the way yeah, he's yeah. changing under the rhythm, that's amazing. You should see. For yeah. example, if he's slow, he goes he like this. He, he, he will make some kind. And that's and then important. when the music <laughs> goes a bit fast, you see he, the you way see he's him, going yeah. under the rhythm. And then he goes. Um, <laughs> when after, basically, after when you have no chance, no more chance, mm -hmm. you only hearing there is nothing can be done, nothing can be changed. You say, this is my last shot. I need to do it. As a parent, I don't want to blame myself, yes. saying oh, I could do it and I didn't do it. And luckily. We I found agree, the Neurogen, yeah, yeah. which was meeting to our, um, this was the unique place that could answer to all my one million questions.